this flow will automate your job hunting and will make your life so much easier and i'm very excited to share with you guys it's going to be available in the n marketplace it's completely free you can just copy and paste it all you have to do is uh, change the api um, keys and this is under the assumption that you have a bright data uh, account and an account of an nlm <coughs> let me share with you exactly what does this uh, automation do basically it allows you to scrape indeed which for those of you who don't know is a very um, big directory for um, porting jobs and after you scrape indeed using bright data you will be able to get all the job posts in a tabular representation in a google spreadsheet which you can also find in the workflow workflow itself and just clone it and at the end you have another parameter that is going to tell you if you're a good fit or not and this parameter is going to be generated by the llm now let me walk you through this whole automation so basically this is an alternative uh, for looking for jobs manually which you can do or by logging in into indeed or just using this google search uh, operand so site indeed.com and let's say you're looking for a job post job post related to ai automation specialist and then you will have all these results now we don't want to go this way we want to um, use an automation so we are using n 10 so basically what you're going to do and everything is written down here very um, in a very structured manner so basically you have this form in which you need to share uh, answers to all of the details so the country the country code the domain that you would like to scrape so it can be uh, the french indeed the german indeed the global indeed etc then you need to share uh, the keyword that you want to search for then you need to sell to share the location and date posted and posted by a specific uh, company for example now all of this is going the, all of these um, responses all of these fields based on your response are going to be sent to bright data bright data for those of you who haven't seen my recent videos is a company that uh, allows you to scrape websites it kind of handles everything that you want so it handles the capture solving rate limiting etc it's very very convenient this is basically um, the solution that does the heavy lifting in this automation so as you can see here this is the specific scraper that we are going to use which is scrape indeed and discover by your by keyword as you can see here these are exactly this is the data that we need to provide what i told you about that you need to fill in the form and these are all the fields that you will get as a result um, and you don't need to care much about uh, the fields because i already took care of it and everything is already um, structured in this spreadsheet which you just need to copy and paste so moving on after you fill the form we are going to send an http request to bright data ask bright data to start uh, with the scraping of uh, indeed with the specific uh, criteria and after that we will enter the polling room the the po polling loop which basically is going to ask bright data over here have you finished scraping if it did finish scraping we are going to move forward to the next phase which is basically asking bright data to provide us to provide us with the data set if it didn't finish scraping we are going to look back here to the waiting time which um, you can adjust at the moment it's one minute of wait i recommend that you adjust this based on how patient you are and how long um, you see that it, it's going to take bright data to fulfill your request so if the database is larger it's going to take more time usually it takes it can take 5 10 15 minutes even if you're scrapping a lot of stuff anyway as soon as the data set is ready it is being sent to the google spreadsheet as you can see here we scraped um, marketing related jobs and then the next step over here is going we are going to send out each job post as you can see here uh, and we're going to send out each job post to the llm and the llm will analyze the job post and see if we are a good fit so for example 
read the following job post company name and this is going to add the company name job title this is going to add the job title so like as you saw here so let's say get a staffy or marriott for example and the job title is going to be sale executive miami florida and then uh, we are going to add the job description and then we are going to ask the llm in this case i'm using OpenAI, but you can connect DeepSeek if you want or if you want it for free or use anthropics cloud whatever you want but basically what i did here i told the llm to write back to us and um, tell me if you think i'm a good fit answer only yes or no so basically we are asking the llm to to um, loop through all the job posts the job title the job description and the company name and see if we are a good fit and the criteria in this case i wrote i'm looking for for roles in pfizer so this is just an example to test and then in the spreadsheet we are we are going to have this column column a b that is going to um, be filled automatically if you're a fit or not so if you're a fit it's going to be it's going to write yes otherwise it's going to write no what you can do afterwards obviously is filter is sorry is add a filter where's the filter i'm used to doing this in, in excel but basically you can add this filter and my fit only filter jobs that have a yes and then you can um reach out sorry i also had uh, had the blanks so only yes and then you can make sure to reach out only to the specific job posts that are relevant to you so you can do this manually if uh, there is a lot of risk involved and you really want the job post the the job the position of the post of the job sorry the position that is uh, published in the job post so perhaps you should consider doing this manually but this is not scalable but this is something to consider you can alternatively you can add another layer to the workflow which is going to also uh, write um, a specific application now this can be done in another step that you are going to add to the automation alternatively you can adjust the prompt so this is just a simplistic prompt you can change it um, i'm looking for roles related to marketing i'm not I'm not interested in anything related to a travel or food and beverage industry. I only want C level and VP level positions. And I don't want anything that has anything to do with meta ads. If the job post seems relevant, so beyond adding yes, responding yes please also add to the response two lines as an application if you need more information about me so i'm a growth marketer with many years of experience blah 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 so this is how you can adjust the prompt and if you adjust the prompt which i highly recommend that you do you will be able to get in this uh, column beyond having the response whether or not you are a good fit you will also be able to get like the icebreaker or the message that you can use for the cold outreach whether you are reaching out to the ceo of the company via linkedin or to the recruiter via linkedin or whatever um yeah i guess that's pretty much it it's a very powerful automation that can be used for job hunting it can be also used for many other things so if you're looking for b2b customers um prospecting companies based on intent i mean whenever a company is actually posting a job post so it gives you a big hint um that you can pitch to them with something related so let's say a company is looking for a video editor and you have a video editing agency and um, you can find job posts related <coughs> to video editing and basically pitch them so this workflow 
isn't only confined to job posts and job hunting is 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 confined to job posting to job posts but not to job hunting it's also related for b2b prospecting and this is why it's so powerful as i mentioned before um, you can get everything the whole workflow plus the spreadsheets they are available on the nhn marketplace uh, for free so just copy and paste it and make sure that you adjust all the api keys so it will work for you if you have any questions obviously leave them in the comment section below if you have any feedback or advice feel free to share it with me and if you enjoyed this video obviously um, make sure to subscribe to the channel i think that's pretty much it for today until next time keep on automating